All right, well, we're back, and it's time for more Motorsport Manager. You guessed it. Time for more. We... Screen should be showing. <laughs> We've really uh, thrown the season away, so uh, tough one with... I think we had a double DNF. We did. We had a double DNF in the last race. Uh, it didn't go to plan, and I didn't record it because I forgot to unhide the screen, but basically what happened, uh, in short summary, is Verstappen retired with a suspension issue at the end of the race. His suspension was damaged uh, after he had a collision, I think it was with Bottas, and uh, we just tried to eke it out to the last, to the very end on the last lap, and he retired with a suspension failure, and uh, Paris crashed out of the race on his own accord. Uh... It was just not a good weekend. <laughs> it was a terrible, terrible, terrible weekend. And Hamilton won from Bottas. Yeah, unsurprising. And everyone else, uh, once again, finished apparently a lap down uh, on Bottas. Oh, or on Hamilton, rather. So, we come to this weekend with a couple of really tough results in a row. You see uh, Verstappen did not score points in, uh, in Munich. In the German Grand Prix, his last points was a podium in Vancouver, which was his best finish of the whole season. Uh, outside of that, it's been poor, poor tough sledding. But we come now. Whoops. Oh, just give me a moment. I just knocked. All right, I apologize. Hold on. I had to do a few things for just a moment there. I had to sort some stuff out. Uh, I knocked, I also knocked over my, uh, the mount, the tower, little tower I've got my mouse standing on. Okay, so continuing our discussion, we have the Belgian Grand Prix coming up at Fake Spa and uh, potentially a last opportunity to save the job before we even reach the halfway point in the season. So, it's not gone well. We have here the drivers stand, the team standings first. We'll look at the team standings. We are at 67 points and trailing both McLaren and Scuderia Ferrari. So, we're missing out on huge points this season. We should be easily second. We're fourth, and it's looking like that's... It, it looks like second is basically impossible at this point without McLaren and Ferrari having some really just disastrous results. We've had the disastrous results. Even Alpine has a win, and we don't have a win. Alpine has a win, and we don't have a win. So, explain that one to me. But Verstappen is 6th in the championship and dropping. And Perez is 10th, but he's been consistently around 8th, 9th, 10th. So I expect that from him. We, we've we spent quite a bit of money on the HQ, so we don't have much available in the balance. Um, we are working to improve parts, but I don't think we have a, a slot available to improve anything anyway. So we've done about all we can. I think up next is just, yeah, it's just free practice. So we basically get right to it. I'll go back here and you can see job security is massively at risk. So... There's not much I can do. My drivers are underperforming. I may have to take drastic measures here in order to uh, to fix this. Perhaps. Yeah, I know. I know. Dietrich is not very happy. Uh, perhaps we swap race mechanics. But the thing is, is he has good chemistry with Verstappen, and. It unlocks a bonus. I don't know what the bonus is. Light-footed. Okay, so the bonus is on wet and intermediate tires. But uh, that's a pretty useless 
useless bonus as far as I'm concerned. Uh, the sweetest spots, or the sweet spot in the qualifying is larger. Uh, we could leave the mechanics, but at this point, I don't know what to do. I, I feel like, you know, it's going to take some drastic measures with the car. We're trying to design new parts and fit new parts, but maybe we try something different with Verstappen. I mean, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm gonna try something different for this race. Now, keep in mind, we have to keep these guys happy with the setup. I mean, it projected... Ha! <laughs> Glad to see that my car has better performance than Sergio Perez. Ha! Well, yeah, Verstappen, that would be great if it actually happened in the race. But that's not happened. So, here's what we're going to do. Yes, there's a slight tick in performance, but it's... At this point, I'd, I'd rather do this. I'd rather swap Verstappen. He's content with that. Delighted. Let's do this. I'm going to swap that. And I'm going to give Verstappen... Apparently, they're delighted with that. Okay. Whatever. I'm happy if they're happy. <laughs> Just a slight change to the suspension thing. So, we're coming to Arden. Let's look at it. It's acceleration, medium speed, corners, high speed. Acceleration, medium, and high speed. So, where is the car on acceleration? It is fourth best. So, we need to improve the car there. We have the best deceleration on the grid. Very shocking. Uh, medium, second best. High speed, third best. Yeah, this is a track that may not be uh, very kind to us. If it was on deceleration, it might help us, but there's not much more to say. The season hasn't gone very well. We have one last race weekend to try to rejuvenate ourselves and save our Red Bull career. <laughs> so, is this track hard on tires? It is very hard on tire. It's quite high. So, we need a lot for qualifying. I say seven. And then I just say bring about four of each. So, same thing. Seven. And four of each. Perez is pretty good on tires. So, I'm going to bring five soft and three hard tires for Perez. So, the setup's fine. All that is good. On to the next screen so into the race it is going to be raining for practice so that's going to limit the amount of dry tire uh, knowledge we can gain in this race the goal is to get to get setup knowledge and I guess to get any tire knowledge we can but Wet tire knowledge is pretty much going to be basically useless if it's going to be dry the rest of the way through. So, here we are. Free practice. Friday practice. Time to do some data gathering at Fake Spa. So, Verstappen is first. Oh, I got to click on Verstappen. His morale is tanked coming into this weekend. Okay, car setup. Well, uh, let's just try to play around with this and get as close as we can from the get go. I don't know where Verstappen is going to want this to be, but, uh, is that in the game? That, like, alarm sound. I think that's in the game. That really threw me off there. just want to make sure the screen is showing, and we're going to do Shift S again. So, um, let's go out on a set of medium tires for Verstappen. Uh, or not mediums. Is it soft tires? Yeah, soft tires. Super soft, soft, and hard. I swear the current F1 regulations have me thinking that's a medium tire. <laughs> it's the me it's the medium tire, okay? Uh, we'll go high downforce for Perez. I don't truly know where he wants to go in terms of uh, downforce, which is going to be as just a guessing game. Acceleration, yeah, we'll put it largely toward acceleration and oversteer. We'll see what Perez thinks of that. And same thing, soft tire. 
and continue. Take practice. We're going to try to hope that we can get set up in the window. We nailed it with both drivers uh, last time out at Silverstone, but it is... Well, first of all, uh, what's the rain going to do? It's going to get worse. So, is anyone going out on on a set of slicks? There's a driver coming out of the pits. I just want to know if they're coming out on... Yeah, they are coming out on slicks. So, let's just go out then. Do a race trim. On, uh... We'll do eight laps. We'll just set eight laps on a set of softs. It's as simple as that. Same thing with Sergio. Uh, stents, race trim, eight laps. Set of soft tires. Get as much, I guess, get as much data as you can. That might be the tire for the, for the weekend. And it's just about getting setup knowledge. Now, once the water comes out on track, then uh, we'll we'll take care of that when that happens. I say you get race trim knowledge. A lot of drivers on hard and super soft tires. Perez likes the setup, so that's nice. Max just unlocked level one setup. Yeah, I'll probably bring you guys in in a bit, but it's going to become wet weather in a minute. It's going to be wet weather time. Driver mistake? Well, I'm not surprised. It's raining, it's damp on track, and race trim level 2. Driver mistake? Yeah. I might bring these guys in. Let's just bring them in. Yeah, everybody's starting to make mistakes. There's no point. Bring them in. And pause. Okay, well, the setup is uh, a lot closer with Verstappen in it than it usually is, but what's the percentage? 83. We have a lot of work to do. So, downforce is close. But uh, does he want higher or lower? And how much higher or lower? Alright, so s handling more toward understeer. And speed balance, well, it's almost on the middle, so I'm just going to guess top speed. He said we were hitting the limiter. So that might give me a hint. Four laps of... You know, give me, give me qualifying trim. Uh, give me three laps in qualifying trim. And give me... I, I guess intermediates. It's not that way. Give me a set of intermediates. Go out and do some more laps. Press play. And then same thing with... Uh, Perez, we need to tweak the setup for Sergio. It's going to take time for them to make setup changes as well, but the downforce is pretty much bang on uh, with 15.9 and 30.0. So as long as we get the downforce bang on, we should be fine, but uh, the handling is not where he wants it. What about or, or the speed balance? Top speed. Wow, way off of Sergio at 68%, by the way. Stents... Uh, same thing. Qualifying trim, three laps. Just gonna just have to guess with Sergio. And same thing. Intermediate tires. Well, that'll save us some soft or some slick tires. At times 12 acceleration. Wow, it's taking a while to make those changes. Sergio was out before Max. So just let them drive around, see what they say. We'll see what kind of feedback they give. Handling is better. Stiffen up the handling for Verstappen. Another setup level unlocked. Uh, is Right now it's just about getting knowledge. Setup level unlocked for Verstappen. I think that's level 2 for both of our drivers. Level 1 qualifying trim now. Probably won't need intermediate tires for the rest of the weekend. Now, is it going to dry at all. It will at the very end. So, I'm just going to let these guys do their thing. I'm going to go times four, and we need to pay really close attention so we can go come back into the pits and then send them right back out. So I'm going to let them complete this lap, and then I'll let them come around again, maybe. It's quite a long lap here. It's actually very close to the real times you would do at Spa. So, oh, they're coming in right here anyway. So, times 12 acceleration, come in. 
Pay attention to Sergio. Where is he? He's very close to coming back into the pits. We should have... Yeah, perfect timing. So, Sergio can come in. We can come out. We can do more. Oh, very close. So let's send Sergio right back out. Very close with Sergio. It's probably, yep, 90%, 91%. So... Uh... Handling maybe more here and then speed balance. No, I need to go this way. All right, and bring the speed balance back this way. Just a tick. All right, stents, qualifying trim. Uh, no, let's do race trim. Let's do more race trim, eight laps, and same set of soft tires. Send out Sergio. Max is on his way in. There's Max. Max is a little bit slow coming in. How close were we with Verstappen? 86%. We, we still got a long way to go with Verstappen. What else is new? Uh, downforce is closer. But the speed balance is good. But handling is... Oh, I was changing the wrong thing. Handling. I don't know where he wants the handling. Gear ratios was good, but still... Maybe right here. Try that. Did I change the downforce? I don't think I changed the arrow. No, I didn't touch the arrow. Uh, a little bit more toward high. Try that. Try that on for size. Race trim, eight laps. And soft tire, send out. Give me Perez so I can watch. Times 12 acceleration. Man, these setup changes are taking a long time. Will we even get a lap in? Then our lap's going to be long. We might get a lap in, but the more knowledge we can gain, the better, I guess. Perez is continuing to get more knowledge on the setup. He's at great. We both say the handling feels much better. Verstappen's on an out lap. Level 3 race trim. Race trim, I think, is going to be way more critical, but uh, the setup knowledge is more is very important as well. Race trim knowledge and setup knowledge is critical for the guys. Well, they're both not complaining about setup anymore, so I think we got exactly where we need to be on setup. I don't know how close to 100%, but if it's 100%, I'm not going to complain. And that helps make things easier. Again, we're not really pushing. Don't take those times too seriously. This guy really needs to take a grammar class and a spelling class. I mean, he didn't even touch the caps button, the shift button. And he, he missed two E's on his keyboard there in weekend. So, uh, I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm gonna say that you need to take a uh, take a class there on grammar and spelling. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Qualifying, Q1, sixth or above is the target. I don't think that's too difficult, but these guys continue to amaze me. <laughs> Soft tire and qualifying trim. Soft tire and qualifying trim. And I, well, why is Sergio so easy to work with? I mean. This is 99%. You can't get much closer than that. Save it as Perez. 99% spa. There you go. I, I, can't, I can't say anything else about Perez. That's, that's all I need. It makes my life easier when the driver is happy with his car setup. We'll confirm that. Super softs. Max is just... Well, it's easier now, but... It's a lot better now, but... Jeez, where do you want the setup? If I... Uh, well, he was great with downforce before, so I think he wants more. Actually, more wing. More wing. And then we gotta tweak the handling to be... Uh, well, let's just tweak the handling just a touch. Just a smidge. Bring that back just a little bit. See if that has a massive impact on the driver's happiness with the car balance. And continue. Take qualifying. 
We're going to go out on a set of super softs. There's no rain. So basically, it's a straight shot. Just send them right out. Send out for Stappen. And then Paris can go now. Same thing. Super, so or super soft tires. And do times 12 acceleration. I'm not going to control their clean air optimization. I'm not going to optimize their temps for them. They can just do it. It's Q1. We, there's no reason for us to be struggling in Q1. So Verstappen's the first guy to go through. So he sets... Oh, he doesn't set purple. He set a purple middle sector, but I think Hamilton is just coming behind setting the sectors. Schumacher has crashed. Mick Schumacher has absolutely blitzed the Haas into a barrier somewhere. And Verstappen is just dropping down the order. It is not going well for Max. Uh, question is, do we waste a set of tires to go out and try and meet the sponsor objective? Oh, Max is so far off. So far off. Nope, just go back to this. <laughs> so, uh, we got the handling excellent. Oh, okay, so white is previous stint. So the handling needs to go uh, here. Speed balance was good. So we had it there. So that lets me know the speed balance needs to go a tick over and maybe like that. Okay. The downforce on the previous stint was okay I am it was good and okay maybe he wants slightly more I don't know speed balance bring that down just a just bring it down just a couple clicks we'll try that we're gonna how many tires do we have one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we could do one, two, two. Yeah, we have an extra set. Why, why not? We have an extra set of these tires, and I'm not planning on using them in the race anyway. Uh, Perez is fine. I'm going to leave Perez alone, but with Max. I mean, you need to go out soon. He, he's going to need to go out very soon. And he's out. He's out behind a Ferrari. I'm going to optimize Max's temps here for this second lap just because I want to hit that sponsor objective because we need the cash coming in. So good and overheated. I tried. <laughs> well, Max, I tried. Here we go. Throw Rouge. Well, it's Faco Rouge, more like it. Behind the Ferrari, getting maybe a bit of a slipstream. Kvyat has crashed. There's drivers crashing around here he's overtaking a Ferrari in qualifying he set the fastest second sector so something has turned on here look at this first all right we met the sponsor objective and Verstappen was fastest in that qualifying session although I don't think Hamilton came out again we had a set of rubber to burn so I don't feel that bad about it that's the benefit of not having used uh, a set of tires in the practice session and having to go out on intermediates. That's the benefit. So eliminated is Latifi, DaCosta, Mazepin, Hulkenberg, Vern, Kvyat, and Mick Schumacher who crashed. Himself and Kvyat both crashed. So, two crashes in the qualifying session. There's your eliminated. And there's who got through. George Russell just does get through. Qualifying a second faster than his teammate. And Perez all the way down there in 12th, but he set one lap. He did not come out and set a second lap. So, obviously, track evolution playing a role in Verstappen there. But maybe could Verstappen qualify high up the grid? I think... I think this could be a good one for us if we can get the setup right. Again, Verstappen's going to go up first. And we nailed it. 
Nailed it. There we go. Finally. We get max to 100%. Max 99 percent spa. So we got both drivers at 99% on the setup. There's no reason these guys can't be fast. So this is Q2. Fastest time uh, in this session. If you get through to Q3, your fastest time in the session is going to dictate which uh, tire you start on. So you start the race on the tire you set your fastest lap time on in this session if you get through to the top 10 shootout. So here he goes for Stappen. He sets the fastest lap, but that's provisional. And now here he goes, tumbling down the order. Gasly fastest. So when Gasly is faster than Verstappen, you know something is terribly wrong. And something is terribly wrong. <sighs> Alright. Yeah, I know you're going to go out again. I'm going to send him back out again. Pause, pause, pause. I want to see something. I just want to see... Yeah, I don't know that they're actually safe. I, I... Well, hold on. Bottas is down here. Why is... And Hamilton's down here. Why are they so far off the pace? Both Mercs. Very strange. But I expect both Mercs to go faster. Uh, Ricardo could go faster. Let's let's play this. Let's just go to normal speed and see what happens. So, who's out on track right now? Norris, Stroll, Giovinazzi, Russell, Ocon, Vettel, and Raikkonen. There's anyone up here? No. So these guys. Oh, it tells you right here. Duh. These guys are all in the pits. So. Uh, I should have looked over here like a moron. Um, are they going to go out again? Because if they go out again, I want to be ready. Want to be ready. Want to be ready. There goes one of the Mercs. That is probably Hamilton. It is Hamilton, isn't it? Yeah, it's Hamilton. We got a second set of tires. Let's use them. Let's let's use him. Max uh no, not Max. Let's send out Sergio first. So Sergio, second Sergio can definitely afford a second set to go out on the second set. I'm going to let him go. And then Max track grips at its highest. Might as well send Max out now. So Max, you're going to go out on the second set. I mean, we got tires to burn here. It's just about getting through. It's not really so much about having you know, fastest lap pace here. It's just about getting through. Oh, perfect and perfect for Verstappen. I didn't even have to optimize it. So let's see what Verstappen does. I'm not worrying about Perez. As long as he gets through, that's the only thing I care about, but also meeting that sponsor objective. So Verstappen has improved so far. So he's a 10th up on his personal best. And coming through the middle sector, he is, he went white. And he's a second down. No, he's a second down on first. He was actually faster than... The provisional pole time there, but uh, he finishes fifth, sixth now. There's some drivers who have not finished their session, but Verstappen does get us a sponsor objective. It costs us a set of super soft tires, but he has met the sponsor objective, and Perez is through only just, though. So it was a good idea. It was definitely a good idea to go out again. Hamilton tops the session, but it's Q2. He'll probably get pole anyway for the actual pole. So now it's top 10 shootout. This is for all the marbles. You see Russell, Stroll, Giovinazzi, Ocon, Raikkonen, Sainz, and Ricardo. All eliminated. The biggest shock there is Ricardo, who had great pace in the early part of the season, but it has fallen apart for him in the latter stages of the season, which is good for us. But now we take qualifying. We take Q3. This is a huge chance. Ooh. Wet qualifying. Now... Is it going to be wet for the whole session? And could that intermediate uh, knowledge come in handy? I say let's send out Verstappen on a set of intermediates. I mean, why not? Let's send him out on a set of intermediates and then send Perez right behind. We'll just set a banker time. We can afford to do it. We have knowledge on the tire. And Verstappen is a wet weather genius, so... Why not give it a shot? 
There's Norris on wets. Wow, the track is soaked. I didn't even see that. So Verstappen on intermediates. Goes purple provisionally, but Hamilton. Hamilton's on intermediates, and he's gone fastest in the wet. Verstappen sets a time that is good for seventh. Wow. All right, well, press play. They're back in, and the track is... That was as grippy as the track was going to be. We could go out again, though. I don't think we're going to need a set of intermediates in the race. So we could go out. Could go out. I say... Pause. I say let's go out. I mean, this these intermediates could go far. I say let's go out. Let's do it again. Let's do it. Let's send them out. Send him out, send him out, send him out. A second lap. Try to meet that sponsor objective. We'll probably be the only ones that go out, but... With Verstappen, do we... I'm just not even going to bother with managing the, the temperatures. See what happens with Max. Perfect and overheated. Going around again. Verstappen's improved. He's improved. Counts for something. Paris be is just behind. Getting a decent slipstream. Verstappen goes. Good for still seventh. So he didn't really improve at all. Yeah, that was pretty lame. And we wait we used up a set of intermediates there. So seventh in qualifying. We didn't meet the sponsor objective, so we missed out on extra points there. And we, we didn't even we missed by six tenths. And the fact that we were out qualified by six tenths by Sunoda. And the track is just soaked with water again. Weird Q3 here. Very strange Q3. And both drivers coming in at the exact same time. Hamilton claims Paul. What else is new? But ahead of Leclerc and Alonso. And then Bottas down in fourth. Gasly and Tsunoda shock fifth and sixth positions in the Alpha Towers. So we're going to have to pass those guys on the start. What have we got around us? Vettel in the Aston. Lando in the McLaren. And then the next one of concern would be Sainz in the Ferrari and Ricardo in the McLaren. Outside of that, I think we'll be fine. Good to be on pole. Hamilton, uh, hashtag blessed. It's actually hashtag, hashtag discipline. What was that? Seriously? Red Bull are wasting so much money on Verstappen. No chance. Hey, relax. It's, it's, what is it, P7? We can do a lot from P7. We're probably not going to win the race anyway. <laughs> Build a better car for Gasly. He qualified sixth. That is massively out-qualifying the car. That is actually true. There is a house at the real spa that's been there since the 1800s. At the real track, the real life track at spa has, uh, there's a house there just... Uh, behind the pits, the old pits, not the current pits where the F1 cars actually go. The old pits, there's a building there that's been there since, like, well before the track was ever built there. It's pretty cool. I didn't even know that until uh, I looked at pictures. So, a cool fact. Vettel is gonna rock... Oh, did we already... We saw that already. We saw that comment. Okay, looking through the social media... It's it's a toxic environment. We don't need to look through the social media. Not right now. It's been pretty toxic to Red Bull. Here we are on race day. It's a pretty simple concept. Soft tires and race trim for both of our drivers. Considering the soft tire was the only slick tire we actually got knowledge on. And our drivers are locked in to the super soft. And they have nailed it with the setup with 99% setup level for both drivers both drivers are surprisingly close on fastest lap there in qualifying so we'll go push i i need max to be faster he needs to be faster just straight and simple so we're gonna go push and high on the fuel uh do we want to do we want to under fuel the car tire choice boys well, locked in do we want to under fuel I'm going to do it with Max, and we'll just leave Sergio the same, and he can push. Uh, I don't know where the tires are at. 
in terms of tire wear for both drivers is probably pretty close. But I know Sergio can manage the tires. So let's go. Go race. We'll look at the grid before we start. So Lewis Hamilton in the Mercedes starts on pole. But the more surprising part is Leclerc in second on the Ferrari. So that's your front row. Your second row is Alonso and Bottas. Uh, Gasly and Tsunoda, the two Alpha Tauri drivers, start the third row, the most surprising part of qualifying. Then the Red Bulls lock out the fourth row, which is kind of disappointing. It's very disappointing, but the way this season's gone, I'm not shocked. Actually, Perez tires look to be in better shape than Max's from that second qualifying session. Vettel and Norris on the fifth row. Raikkonen and Sainz on the sixth row. Former Ferrari driver and the current Ferrari driver. Then there's Ricardo and Alcon, Stroll and Giovinazzi, Russell and Latifi, Acosta and Mazepin. Mazepin! <laughs> oh, I thought he was last. That's right. There's 24 drivers. And there's your 20. Ah, oh, Mick down in 24th. That's right. He did crash, though. I'm surprised it wasn't this guy. But uh, he, did, he did crash in the qualifying session. Starting on the hard tire. Trying to start on the hard tire and go long. So here we go. It's... Time for lights out. Verstappen and Paris start right next to each other. And it's lights out and away we go. Verstappen. Someone went wide in 10th. I don't know who went wide. It was Sonoda. Sonoda ran wide. That's an easy position for us. So slim pickings there for Verstappen. Both drivers are going to push right off the start. Verstappen with slightly less healthier tires. But he's fighting for a podium position at the moment. He's up in the third. And Paris has dropped to 10th. But... Max is up to second and pushing after Hamilton. So a brilliant start for Verstappen as he's being pressured by a Ferrari. Now remember, Verstappen's going to have to go fuel saving at some point uh, and he's fighting Alonso. Uh, he shouldn't be fighting Alonso. Alonso was overpowered in this. I'm going to let Max push a bit on fuel because, well, honestly, we can afford to say we can save that fuel back. But I don't want to let it get too much more than minus 1.20. So with Verstappen, let's cool it off after the first lap on tires. Uh, and same thing with Sergio. Sergio can push on fuel, and he's going to need to down there in 12th. So Verstappen, try to just pull away, get some temperature into the tires, and get that confidence in that grip level going. So we'll accelerate multiple times acceleration in a moment. I just want to get this race settled in. Bottas collides with signs. So is there a, he's under investigation and no penalty has been given. But it, it looks like he doesn't have any damage either. But colliding with signs and dropping down the order as well. He may have damage. May He does. He does have damage. It doesn't show there. Oh, Sergio flat spotting the tires and he's down to 79%. Well, that's what Verstappen's at. Russell's locked up. Perez is complaining about something. He doesn't have damage, but Bottas does. That's, that's good for us because that'll be free positioning. But the main man of the hour is Verstappen, who's defending from third from Ricardo. Ricardo started further down the order, and he's on a harder compound of tire. And he's actually trying to overtake Verstappen here. Max, I, I, gotta, I gotta start backing off on fuel, man. I'm sorry, but we gotta do it. Try to take these tires as far into the race as possible. So Ricardo is passed, and he's got that pace, unsurprisingly, in the McLaren. Hamilton still leads. He's just he's just going to check out of this race. You know he is. So how's the temps looking? They're fine. Let's start going times four acceleration. We won't go times 12. There's probably going to be an early pit stop here. This could be a multi-stop race. It just depends on how the tires go. Verstappen's form is great right now. Gonna have to save back because Schumacher and Mazepin have collided. The two teammates collide back of the grid, and Schumacher's in the pits, probably with damage. Norris lo locking up, happening all, happening all around us. Under pressure from the Ferrari of Leclerc in fourth. Verstappen might be able to push a little bit. We'll just push a little bit with Verstappen. I don't know how early to go on tires. We're about we're about three laps in, or well, five laps in. Sorry. Now let's take a look and see how far tires can go. So we have an estimated, well, we have 54, or is it 51? I can't tell because the chat box is in the way. But we have 51 laps remaining. And this tire cannot go to the end. But could the hard tire? Hard tire could go to the end. 
but we don't have any knowledge on the hard tire. And I'd rather do a double stint on softs just because on the soft tire we have knowledge and an and a 15% performance increase with a level with level 3 knowledge. So, here's what I'm going to do. Max, you are allowed to push on that tire and I'm just going to well, do we want to do it with Sergio? Yeah, let's do it with both drivers. Push. Push on the tire. Don't overheat it too bad. But I'm going to let you guys have a little bit of time pushing on the tire. We'll analyze the tire where as you guys go on. But these tires... Yeah, Max is already saying I want to pit for fresh tires. These tires, uh, they as long as they can go to about lap 15, I think that's about the objective. Try to get them to lap 15. We'll go for an early stop. We're two-stopping this race. I'm committing, and I'm doing it with both drivers. And I just got to hope that Perez finds some pace uh, because he's down there in ninth, and he's 20 seconds off the lead. Verstappen is 9.1. He's, he's doing a decent job out front, actually, and his form is high. Check tire pressures. Well, I can't. I don't have access to that kind of thing. <laughs> Sorry, Sergio. You're on your own. So Sergio is pushing on fuel. Max is saving it. Sergio, we can go to about like 0 0.70, 0 0.80 on fuel and then start saving it back later. I want to get to about lap 15 in this race. Paris dropping the 10th. So once these tires start overheating, I'm going to back off. But for now, it's going to be full push ahead on this tire. Just going to let him push, 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 push. Once we get to lap 11, we'll check in on our tire situation. But they're both at 50% wear. These should easily get, we'll go as far on this tire as we can. So that's the goal. Try not to overheat it once they start overheating it. Hulkenberg has crashed. There's a safety car. It's leaving. So this is an excellent opportunity to pit. Hamilton's going to come around and pit. Uh, but he's already passed the pits. So the safety car is out. This is the first safety car of the season. Verstappen is here. This is an excellent time to call in Verstappen. 40% tire wear. So this tire, this is an easy call for me. This is going to definitely make the two-stomp a lot easier strategy. And we can save fuel back here. Uh, any any need to fix that part? I think we're not going to fix that part. I'm going to not fix that part. And a balance stop. No reason to go aggressive. And then we will bring in uh, Paris as well, who is a bit behind. Soft tire, part condition, everything. Wow, his part conditions are fine, except for the uh, gearbox is at 60%, but I think we're just going to keep going and play. So these guys uh, just, well, it's a safety car, so no one can overtake anyway. So start saving back some fuel. So Verstappen was in. It was good. No mistakes. And a 2.6 second stop. That's very Red Bull-esque. Here comes Perez. No mistakes. All good. Paris drops the 10th. Verstappen is still in third, obviously. So we're under safety car here. So Verstappen comes out, and the safety car is going to catch. No, no Verstappen's going to lead. Verstappen's going to lead because Hamilton has yet to pit. So two laps left under the safety car. So are those guys a lap down and unlapping themselves? Or what's Verstappen doing? Or is it say what is going on? I think shouldn't Verstappen be leading under the safety car? Or am I just going crazy? Hamilton's made his stop, but if is he behind? No, he's coming around. So Verstappen. Where's the safety car? Yeah, everyone should be, like, chilled out. Back up. And back up. I just want to make sure that we time this when the safety car is ready to go. So when it, it's time for the safety car to come in, I want to be ready to put the fuel and the, and the, uh, the, the driving style up to the maximum so we can push hard on the, on the, uh, on the restart. Verstappen somehow dropped the 7th under, under the safety car. He should have gained. 
out of the safety car, but he hasn't. Raikkonen yet to pit. Sainz yet to pit. Some guy's a little out of position, but there's the safety car. Valtteri Bottas has a mechanical issue. Schumacher retired with a mechanical issue. A couple of issues and retirements happening around us. One lap left. Is the safety car going to start coming in soon? I want to be ready for it. I don't want to miss it. So it may go, may go around one more time under the safety car. I'm just waiting. I know the tire temperatures are low. Just give me a minute. I think the safety car is coming in after this lap. I think, I think you're, we're going to go around one more time and it will come in after this. We should get the notification. Yeah, it's not coming in yet. One lap. All right. So once we get halfway around the track, I'm going to push... I'm going to push the tires back up. So Verstappen should easily save back the fuel he's burned off. Or save back the fuel that we didn't put in the car. So that's huge. Come up through fake Eau Rouge. There's Verstappen. And you're eighth. And so now I'm going to start telling my drivers to just go. I'm going to put them on push so they can... Maybe get a little more temp into the tires because they're going to be super cold by the time they're ready to uh, ready to start do the restart. I don't know if a lap is enough, but I think everyone else is going to be in the same boat. So they, they shouldn't even be getting any tire wear under the safety car anyway. But once it's ready to come in, I'm going to hit play. I want to make sure where I may hit pause. It's not yet. It's not yet. Still got to come around this way. Save as much fuel as possible. Safety car is going to be coming in shortly. So right about now, let's put this up to attack. And we'll just go high. We won't go to overtake. Attack and high. We got this soft tire on. We need to use it. So Max, it's go time, buddy. Off this restart. Paris down in 12th. Hamilton leads from Ricardo, Leclerc, Sainz, Alonso, and Raikkonen. Here we go. We're away and we're racing again. Verstappen, no collisions, please. No mistakes. Perez is defending. Verstappen's going up to fifth into a rouge side by side with Alonso, it looks like. Come on, Max. I've given him maximum push to get some temperature into those tires and to have some aggressive pace on this restart. And he just rockets away. Look at that. And he's, he's fighting Hamilton. Ricardo in the lead. Now Verstappen in the lead. Verstappen is finding some pace on this restart. He's looking very racy. Everyone on the soft tire, by the way. But that, that knowledge on the soft tire is coming in handy. But we don't want to burn through the tires too quickly. So this is about a lap that we're going to push like this. I'm going to actually start bringing it down to push. I need to get temp into the tire, but not take too much out of the tire right away. We can easily save back fuel, especially... Ricardo has collided with signs. Uh, so that's good. <laughs> Maybe he has damage. It looks like he does. He's he might he's dropping way down the order. Leclerc leads from Verstappen ahead of Sainz, Alonso, and Hamilton. So we can push on fuel, especially with Sergio is what I was saying. So off this restart, we just want to maintain things. I'm going to manage things before we start accelerating the time. I'll multiply it times two. Leclerc's locked up. He's under pressure from Verstappen. Verstappen full attack as Leclerc has to defend. Perez is sitting pretty in fourth. We're going to really go balls to the wall on the soft tire. It's lap 15. Hamilton locked up behind. Hamilton has crashed into Perez. Has that caused Hamilton any damage? No, it hasn't. His form is not very high. Perez, no damage either. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Verstappen again pushing, trying to get temp into the tires basically, but not take too much out of them. But these, we know these tires can go far. So the two-stop, we need to be aggressive. A drive-through penalty has been given to Fernando Alonso for causing a collision. It's been all sorts of chaos ever since the restart. Verstappen takes the lead. He leads from Leclerc. Leclerc drops in the second. Maybe Leclerc is having to back off and manage the tires a little bit. Great stuff from Verstappen. He's been great and very racy since the restart. And Hamilton's still sitting down there in fifth. Perez ahead. I'm just going to let these guys just do their own thing for a bit. If Verstappen could get out in the lead, it would be excellent and just hold on to it. We're going to go for this aggressive two-stop. 
We've got the knowledge on that tire. We have plenty of knowledge, plenty of race trim knowledge, plenty of tire knowledge. And the setup is perfect for both guys. There's no reason for them not to perform in this race. This is the first chance we have to actually have a great race. Let's not blow this one. But Verstappen is under pressure from Leclerc. We're going to do times four now. Perez drops to fifth. He's been overtaken by Hamilton, but that's not a big deal. I expect Hamilton to be making a charge. But there, there, there's, there's actually a fight going on between Perez and Hamilton right now for fourth. So they're fighting hard for fourth place. Perez has overtaken Sainz for third. So great stuff from the Bulls so far. They've looked very aggressive, very racy since the start, the restart. Sainz, by the way, is on a softer compound of tire as well. So that's even more impressive. These guys are going well. It's, it's almost going too well. <laughs> it's almost going too well at this point. 37 laps remaining. These tires need to go quite far. Science has cut a corner. Has he been given a penalty for it? No, it's maybe a warning. We're at times for acceleration. 19 out of 55 laps have commenced. And Paris, or, uh, Paris, I'm sorry, Verstappen's form is dipping a bit. His form was very high. It's at 6.2 now, whereas Paris is at 7.6. So... Form is all over the place, but I don't know that I understand why. All I know is Verstappen leads, and he's pulled a decent gap. I think that this is a, a portion of the race. If we can get Verstappen can, and Perez can get this tire, it, it could easily do. Look, they just really need to get this tire to, like, lap 25. Really. 30. 25-30. I mean, 10 more laps on this tire is easily doable, and we could push from there. This this could easily, this tire could easily do that. It's been on since before lap 15. So, this tire has been on, I mean, with under the safety car. Has been on for quite a while. Hamilton is not having a great day in the office. But this tire has been on for a while, although under safety car conditions. Verstappen's going to have to start saving some fuel back, but I'm not concerned yet. Once we get to about lap 28, I'll start backing off the fuel with Verstappen. But we'll, we'll just push on it for now. Build as much as we can. Just build a gap, build a gap, build a gap. Both guys are at similar tire wear. Come on, Max. I believe in you. Don't suck. <laughs> Do not suck this weekend. We, we were terrible at, at, Silver, at fake Silverstone the last time we streamed this. So, again, the goal is to get to about lap 28. All right, can I do times 12 acceleration without something dramatic happening? Times 12 acceleration. Well, you can push. Norris has a mechanical issue. That takes a McLaren out of it. So, again, lap. Yeah, we're going to have to start saving fuel here with Max. I'm going to drop it back. Lap 25 starts. Ricardo has spun. Verstappen under pressure. Hold on, hold on. I want to slow this down for a second. I want to see what's going on. He's lapping traffic as well. Perez is on the hunt for uh, whoever is behind. Tires are quite overheated for both of my drivers. So may have to... Uh, I don't want to go to neutral. I want to defend this. But Max has no choice. He has to save some fuel back. Maybe we can get these guys on strategy or something. Or maybe Leclerc can spin. Do a Spinala. I mean, Hamilton is 12 seconds off the pace from Verstappen at the moment. Just going to let these guys do their thing. And again, this tire really just needs to get to lap 30, and we'd be fine. I just think push on this tire. Just take everything out of it. Perez is in second, by the way. Leclerc has been overtaken. Perez is, is on the hunt. He's a mad lad absolutely getting after. He might be putting Verstappen under pressure soon, and I'll have to tell him to back off a bit. What is uh, Perez's pace compared to... He's setting personal best, so what's his pace compared to Verstappen's pace? It's very close. He's actually getting very close to Verstappen. Gonna put Verstappen under pressure. His form's very high. He's setting personal best everywhere. <laughs> Sergio's liking this. He's liking this race at the moment. This has been a good one for the Bulls. Oh, come on. Lap traffic needs to get out of the way. I have got to slow this down. This is too intense. So Max 
Uh, we're both at like 45% wear. We got plenty of tire left. We have so much flexibility on strategy. I mean, let's use this time to build some gaps here. I think, I think, I mean, we could, we could honestly pit early. We could pit. We could, we could pit now if we wanted to. Get a quick early undercut on the drivers that are behind us. And just push on a soft tire. Instead of trying to burn out a set of super softs. I'd rather do that. I think that's what we're going to do. So, I'm going to let this go to about lap 21. And then I'm going to bring them in. That's what I'm going to do. About lap 21, 20. I'm going to bring them in. I'm going to bring in Perez first because he's... I'm going to bring in Verstappen first because Perez is looking very racy. And <laughs> I don't want Perez to overtake Verstappen here. So let's try to take this till there's about uh, 21 laps remaining. So probably about lap 35-ish. It's getting close between these two. They're getting very close together. And I don't like it. Has anyone behind us made another pit stop? It doesn't seem like it. they're staying out. Leclerc is still in touch. Verstappen's going faster all the time. Is Perez? Oh, Perez is really pushing on fuel. We need to back Perez off on fuel. I was not paying attention to that. So, Perez, you need to back off on the fuel. Getting a nice tow by your teammate. Man, the intensity of this one. This is an intense race. Team orders <laughs> at Alpine. Verstappen. Oh, my goodness. How's Verstappen going? He's still going quicker. My goodness. <laughs> it's so close between Perez and Verstappen. 34, lap 34 starts. So I might bring Verstappen in here for a quick undercut. It'll be a very early pit stop. Now, if there is a uh, safety car, that could set us back. One more. Yeah, let's bring Verstappen in. We're bringing him in. Earl, nice and early. Park condition, everything. I'm, I'm going to take a chance on it. Balanced. Yeah, balanced. Absolutely balanced. Stop. Here's Verstappen. I'm going to hit play when he comes in. Now, Perez, uh, you get to come in on the next lap. So, Verstappen's in. No mistakes, guys. No mistakes. No mistakes. No mistakes. Complete. No mistakes. And a 2.5 second stop. All right. That's good stuff. Attack for the early bit of this stint here, Max. So, Perez, now all the attention turns to Sergio. We're going to put Sergio on a set of soft tires as well. Parts are looking okay. Balanced, same thing. So Sergio, we're just going to let him do his thing. Max is out in fourth. Now these guys, there's no way they can get to the end on the soft tire, so we're fine there. Max, we're just going to let him do his thing. He's going to push. He had the gap as well to Hamilton. Now we just get the straight up push. Full attack. So Perez should be coming in shortly. I'm going to let Max do his thing back there. Here comes Perez. No mistakes. No mistakes. No mistakes. No mistakes. Perez is in. And no mistakes. 2.6. Pretty solid pit stop. Now the same thing. Attack for Sergio for a bit. I'm going to let them do that for a bit so they can get temperature into their tires. Max is in third now. And hunting down Lewis Hamilton. Perez is out behind. So uh, everything worked out perfectly with Max coming out ahead of Sergio. Again, just going to use this to get the tires close to temperature. All right, they're coming up the temp, so back off for a little bit. Still saving. Fastest lap for Verstappen. 19 laps remain. And Sergio can just push on maximum attack driving style for a bit until the tires are close to enough to being up to temperature. Now, we can push hard on this tire basically through the end of the Grand Prix. So Leclerc and Hamilton still have yet to make a second stop. They're going to have to. They're going to have to. They're going to have to make a second stop. Max is closing in at a rate of knots. But he's still 13 seconds off Leclerc. So he, as long as he has that gap to Leclerc, when Leclerc pits, we should be fine. There's plenty of laps left in this race. There's no way they can get to the end anyway. Uh, Perez, back off on that. Tires are getting too hot. I'm glad I saw that. I mean, they're going to get hot on push, but I'd rather them get hot on push than on maximum attack. All right. Just keep pushing, guys. See what the track grip is coming up as well. No rain expected. Just 
It should just be a straightforward race to the end here. Verstappen's form is back up. Look at Perez's form. These guys are loving life. I'm loving life as a team manager. <laughs> as a team principal, I'm enjoying this. 16 laps remaining. There's no way. They're going to try to push for a softer compound of tire. So that's what they're going to do. We need to make sure we have... Ra uh, not radio. <laughs> we need to make sure we have fuel available to push on. So as Hamilton, he's not coming in. There's no signal to indicate he's coming in. So Max is going to have to do this on track. No collisions, please. No indicator from Hamilton. He's staying out. 15 laps remaining. I wouldn't expect him to come in. If he's going to go for that softer compound of tire. So I'll explain a moment why the soft tire. Well, we have knowledge on it. And we can push on this tire. And we can do an early undercut here. And we can use this tire to our advantage. We can push on it. We have knowledge on it. And even though it's technically not the fastest compound of tire over a one lap pace, it works for us today. It's been working brilliantly. Just got to work our magic and get past Hamilton. I'm definitely expecting him to do a, a second stop. There's no way Leclerc and Hamilton can't do this on a one, can do this on a one stop. They can't do it on a one stop. There's no way. I'm watching the tire where it's it's quite considerably high, actually, with 13 laps remaining. Uh, Hamilton's setting personal fastest laps here. Look, as long as the tires don't go away too quickly, we should be fine. And Hamilton's, Hamilton's coming in. That's it. Hamilton is definitely coming in. Now, I don't know what Leclerc is doing because he's far down, much further down the road. So I can't quite, I can't see what he's doing. I could click. And no, he's, he's staying out. He's staying out. So Leclerc is staying out. Hamilton is in. So Verstappen takes over second from Hamilton. And he's at a form of 10. So, I mean, our drivers are at a form of 10. Well, Perez is not anymore. But Verstappen's at a, a form of 10. He says he has no grip, but it's because the tires are hot. But I, I'm going to push on him. <laughs> and we got fuel in reserve, a, a small amount with Verstappen. It's not much with, you know, 10 laps remaining coming up on us. So 10 laps remaining, 11 laps remaining. And Charles dropped into second. And he has made his pit stop. For a set of soft tires. Unless that's incorrect. And he hasn't changed the tire yet. Paris is in third. I'm, I'm happy with that. Charles is behind. 6.3. He's gaining. So we're going to have to really manage this to the end with Verstappen. Try to make sure we have pace in the tank. Man, Leclerc is looking very rapid. Very rapid. You guys don't need new tires. You just need to push. We're going to... if We need we need Sergio to start, start using some fuel. Use some fuel there, Sergio. Catch up to Leclerc. Put him under pressure. Leclerc sets the fastest. Yeah, well, he comes out on fresh rubber. I'm not expecting anything different. Uh, as long as Verstappen can keep his form at a form of 10 and keep his pace up, we should be fine. We went for that early undercut. Leclerc is gaining, but he's got an issue. Did he collide with somebody? He has a part, he has a mechanical issue. I'm pushing on fuel with Perez to the end. Come on, Max. See, Leclerc has a mechanical problem. He's still gaining on Verstappen. There's no way. There's no way. He shouldn't be gaining. 9.4 of the form. The morale is going down for Verstappen. Perez has crashed. Oh, God. Uh, virtual safety car is active. Then just go conserve and low. Perez has bend big points away as he's crashed the car. Oh, come on. We had such a huge opportunity for points here. We were running first and third, and Perez has done gone and bend it. Well, at least we get to cool off the tires a bit. So, real-time simulation. I only have to manage one driver now. All right, Max, just cool off the tires for a second. You're going to have Leclerc behind you. 26 seconds. 24, 22, 21, 20. This should at least allow us to cool things off for just a moment. 15, 14, 11, 10... Oh, hold on. Push and uh, use medium fuel. 
There you go. Safety car, or virtual safety car is over. Leclerc is 1.6 behind. He's got a mechanical problem. Hamilton's six seconds back. Come on, seven laps to go. Verstappen, don't throw this in the bin. Do not bin this. Do not bin it. As long as we can manage to save some fuel and then use some later, it'd be perfect. Come on. Don't even tell me about Perez. <laughs> he crashed it. One second. Oh, the gap is coming down. I don't know how Leclerc is so fast with a mechanical problem. It's a mechanical issue, and he's... What if will pair or will uh will will Max go faster if we drop the driving style to cool off the tires? 1.2, 1.0. Nope, he won't. He won't. He won't. He won't. No, nope. Max, Max. <laughs> Verstappen needs to go faster. He needs to. He just needs to go faster. Why is he not going faster than Leclerc, who has a mechanical issue? That doesn't make any sense. It's 0.4 now. Use some fuel. Defend with everything. Defend, defend, defend. Defend. He has a mechanical problem for crying out loud. All right, we've used some fuel there. Stay ahead. I'm going to have to strategically play this with Verstappen. My God. Blue flags. Blue flags. Continue. Don't, do not let him pass. All right, we're just going to use fuel on the straights. I'm going to, when Verstappen gets to a straight, I'm going to have to push on fuel. Hamilton's going to be catching as well. Oh, God. Why? Why like this? All right, here we go. High on the fuel just for this little bit, and then we'll drop it back down. Medium. High. <laughs> High on fuel. Come on. We can push it a little bit here, through here on fuel. Push it down to like 0.15. Go medium through here to save a little bit through here. Just use it on the straights. Just give yourself almost like an ERS boost. I'm so nervous for this. I'm so nervous for this. I want that first win. I want that first win here. All right, high. High on the fuel again. And drop it a little bit through here. He's setting, he's setting personal bests. So he's doing everything right. Up through Eau Rouge. Got blue flags ahead of us. Hopefully they don't interfere. High again. Medium. He's just holding off a, a broken down Ferrari of Charles Leclerc. Who's 2.2 seconds behind. High on fuel again. And medium. Save back some of that fuel. We're going to have to micromanage this to the end. We can do this. We can do this. Gap's two seconds. It's holding steady. It's coming down a little bit. How is Leclerc this fast on a car that has a mechanical problem? Doesn't make any sense. High fuel. High fuel. High fuel. Oh, I'm so nervous. Is that blue flag going to get in the way? That back marker. Oh, the back marker is getting in the way. Go, go for Stappen. High on fuel. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Save some, save some through Rouge. Fake Rouge. All oh, these guys are saving pace in their back pocket. Verstappen is losing pace dramatically. High on fuel. Just keep pushing it. God, they're catching. They are really catching. Come on, Max. What is going on with Leclerc? Why doesn't he just piss off? Leclerc just won't go away. He just won't go away. We're pretty good in the last little sector, though. All right, so... All right, drop it back down. Drop it back down for a little bit. We'll use some of it on the straight up here. Two laps to go. Come on, Max. You can do this. Medium. <laughs> Gonna have to bounce back and forth between medium and high. Ricardo's ran wide. I don't. I don't care. 
I don't really care. We're pretty good in the last sector. If we can just make up for our lack of strength in the first sector, we'll be okay. We'll be just fine. The track rip's going up as well. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. This is the most nervous I've ever been playing Motorsport Manager. Just losing. It's lo only game. Losing. Why do you have to be mad? We're losing, losing form a little bit. His form is dropping a little bit. Thank you for the follow, by the way. During one of the most stressful moments. Oh, come on. I gotta save fuel. It's gonna be tight on fuel. I just gotta stay on push with Verstappen. I know the tires are getting worn, but this is, a, this is the last lap. If he can just hold it together, we should be fine. This is our weakest point on the track, so if we could just stay pretty decent here, we could win this. We could win this. For, or Not Verstappen, I'm sorry. Leclerc on a broken Ferrari is 1.8 behind Verstappen and has maintained that gap. How? How has he maintained that gap? He has a mechanical problem and he's just as fast as Verstappen, if not faster. What kind of cheats? He's set a fastest second sector. <laughs> All right, high fuel, just use the rest of it to defend. We just got to get to the line. Here we go. We're going to win our first race of the season. I can't believe it's taken this long. But Verstappen, you're right. It was a mega drive. That was spectacular. Finally. Finally. It comes good for us. The only thing that sucked is Perez was running in third and he crashed. Crashed himself out of the race. But how about that? Well played to Mr. Charles Leclerc in a broken Ferrari with a form of four in second. And putting Verstappen under pressure the entire time. I don't know how that's possible, but okay. Well played, sir. Signs on a one-stop in fourth. Uh, Perez, disappointment of the day. I don't know why he crashed out. I guess just pushing too hard with the driving strategy. And he just overheated the tires and crashed. That's my only explanation. But Verstappen has finally won a race I don't know what's happened this season. It's been weird. The car hasn't had the pace all season. And Verstappen has dr been driving like a bonehead. Crashed out the last two races in a row, I think. Or he crashed out the last one. I don't even remember what he did before uh, the British Grand Prix. But he, he crashed out in the last race. And had like, I think, literally five different individual crashes in the last race. So very un-Max Verstappen-like. But uh, he's just has not been on form this season. Perez has been surprisingly decent. But he's, his biggest issue is sometimes finishing races. And once again today, didn't finish a race. Had really good stints today on the soft tire. Did he start on the, yeah, he started on the super soft. Had a good first stint. Came in, had a great second stint. We had a really good race from Perez. It just did not come together. He crashes out on lap... Uh, what lap did he crash out on? Lap 48. He didn't have much longer to go. And we would have easily had huge points for the team. But we threw points away there. Still getting the victory. I don't know who had the fastest lap. I think it was Norris. Uh, can I see that? Is it under event results? Yeah, no, it was Leclerc. It was Charles Leclerc with the fastest... Something is broken. <laughs> Something is broken with this mod. Charles Leclerc gets the fastest lap. His car was damaged, and he had a fastest lap. Huge points there. He takes big points away from Hamilton, but it's not like Hamilton needs it because Lewis Hamilton is walking away with his championship easily. But, man, for Bottas, where did he finish? He threw big points away, didn't he? He finished down... No, he finished in fifth. Still threw big points away. He had a he had a, a, a drive through penalty. He had two different penalties and a drive through. One of them was a drive through. And somehow still recovered ten points. Uh, this is the first race where multiple where the entire field, aside from the race winner, didn't finish a lap down. That's been pretty weird. We did have the safety car. First safety car of the season. Brought out by was it Hulkenberg? This is, that was practice results. Yeah, Hulkenberg. Hulk, Hulkenberg crashed. Does it say what lap? I don't think it says what lap. I don't remember what lap he crashed out on, but he crashed, brought out the safety car. 
You see, we qualified 7th and 8th, so he converted a 7th into a win. I told you that 7th wasn't so bad. We can do a, a lot for 7th. Maybe we should just aim for that. There's a tire usage. And we brought with, uh, where is Max? Max, we brought quite a bit of uh, super soft tires, and we didn't even use them because it rained in practice and qualifying. So we didn't actually end up using as many slick tires as I was expecting, and we brought all those slick tires for nothing. Uh, we live timings. Yeah, Leclerc setting that purple lap at the end. That's crazy. There's Max, his race. He, that's the end of the race. That's not the beginning. How do I get to the beginning? See, Max started seventh and just jumped right up to second on the first lap. And then by the second lap, he he was in yeah he was in second by the second lap first at the end of the first lap and then dropped down the third after ricardo got passed into the pits under the safety car came out in seventh temporarily i didn't understand that ended up ended up jumping way up to second within two laps of the safety car restart and then got up to first who was it was Charles leading at that point. So it was Charles he overtook. Got past Charles. Led the race from there until the second pit stop under green flag. And then got the lead back when everyone pit. We went for that early undercut. There's where Perez crashed out. <laughs> Unfortunately. A very difficult, painful memory from this race. No mistakes. Pit stops were fast. No mistakes on any of them. Strategy was great. Oh, mistakes on Bottas on the tires. So Mercedes screwing up and also Bottas picking up penalties. So not a good weekend for Valtteri. I don't think Hamilton had... Nope, Hamilton had quick stops and no mistakes. Lap charts. I don't think we need this much information or detail from the race, but it was a good race to get the first win. And we'll see the standings after I hit continue as well. So I don't need to click on that. Scrutineering. Did we break a rule? Nope. No rules were broken. So the results will stand as is. And we get the sponsor objective as well. Which we should be getting that every single weekend. There's no reason to not get the sponsor objective. So more money in the bank and a first place trophy. So Verstappen has two podiums. A... Was it a third? What did he get in Vancouver? I think a third place and a first place win in spa so or fake spa so look it was verstappen from leclerc from hamilton is your podium so maybe we can carry some momentum into round eight so after seven rounds that's how the standings look it should be a lot different but ricardo had a lightning start to the season and he was actually he was actually running really well in this race i didn't see what he finished but ricardo had a really good start to the race as well. He got up to third very quickly and was fighting Verstappen. I think he ran wide a couple of times and had some mistakes in this race which cost him positioning. I don't know where he finished, like I said, because I'm only focused on my drivers, but we have not had the start to the season that we wanted. We've thrown a lot of points in the garbage can, especially Verstappen. He should be picking up way more points for his skill level, but we're now at 68 points and 94 off of Hamilton, so... We should easily be able to finish third in the driver's standings. We could get second if Verstappen could be consistent because Bottas is dropping points like like flies. And then this is the even tougher part to look at is the constructors. So we have 92 points while Ferrari and McLaren have 107 and 106 each. We should be way up there. We, like we should we should be way up there in second. It shouldn't even be close. But we've, like I said, both drivers have thrown points in the garbage can. And we're sitting in fourth instead. And 161 points off of Mercedes. We should be a lot closer to Mercedes than that. The gap should be, like, well within, like, 120 points. But we, like I said, throwed points away. Williams suck more than a vacuum cleaner. It's <laughs> a good one. I'm going to use that. I'm going to steal that. So Verstappen looked absolutely supreme today. Can Red Bull go on to dominate the Formula One? The Formula One? 
I don't know. I don't think we have the pace. We haven't shown anything to make me believe in ourselves so far, except for this race. Off the bookies to collect my winnings? Well, thank you for betting on us. See, now all the social media is starting to be positive when we win. They're behind us when we win, and they trash us when we crash out of races. Isn't that just the way it is? Well, well, we finally got to taste victory champagne. That's for sure. I may have just saved my job. I was on the brink of being fired. I think, hopefully, Dietrich likes the result and doesn't want me fired from the team. <laughs> because I would like to keep the job here and see if we can carry something into Season 2. If there will be a Season 2 here. Expected result was second. We came... What? Is that... Oh, is that Constructors? That's Constructors. I was about to say, we won the race. But I, it's Constructors. We came second in the in the Constructors Championship in the race. Because Mercedes got two guys finishing with more points than Verstappen. Even though Verstappen won. Uh, his driver stats got a boost. They should winning the race like that. So... Driver form was solid this time around. Setup was bang on with both dri both drivers. We got 99% with both drivers. Paris, you gotta not crash out of races anymore. I, can, I need these points, man. We need these points. We need to recover the ground that we're we're currently losing to uh, to McLaren and Ferrari because my job's gonna be on the line if Paris doesn't get those points. <laughs> So you see how critical Perez crashing out of this one was. If you take a quick look at if you take a quick look at the job security, once it gets done saving, it's still at risk, but instead of it being all the way to the left, it is slightly above that. <laughs> so I've managed to slightly rescue my job. Pit crew. There, oh, there's new pit crew for hire. Yeah, but your mistake chances are, s are much high, much too high. 0.2% I could live with. 0 0.5, 0 0.6, nope. So we have a lot of emails to check. Leclerc, Hamilton denies Leclerc poll. Well, that's not really surprising. Is anyone shocked at that? Car condition update, that wasn't really the ideal weekend. Oh, oh, because Paris crashed. I was about to say, hold on, why? But Paris crashed. I forgot about that. <laughs> but I just, I, I just wanted to put that past my. It, once we get out of the race screen, it's all past my mind. So Paris's condition dropped 61%. So they're going to be busy repairing the car over 27 hours. Interview with. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it. Is it a? Is it Sar? Rucker Zeiken Zeiten? I don't even know. <laughs> I'll take the interview though. Sergio Perez ran straight into the back of Russell today, who told us that Perez shouldn't be allowed to race after that. He's an idiot. What do you think? It sounds to me more like he's talking about Bottas. You know, you know what I mean? You know. <laughs> uh, George Russell is the idiot. Well, I don't want to burn bridges here with George. Uh, gosh dang it! Accidents happen. It's no big deal. Uh, I don't know what that... Morale... Okay. Well, Perez liked that because I backed Perez. I gotta back my driver. Come on. I gotta back my driver. Things happen. You'll live. Live to fight another day. You're driving in a Williams anyway. <laughs> I've written a quick report on the performance of our pit crew last weekend. We performed a total of four stops. Fastest was 2.5. The stops were fast. Okay. They were consistent and fast. So, we've broken our previous pit stop record for the season. We had a mistake-free weekend. All was well. All is well. Strategy was perfect. We played that perfectly. Mwah. I love it. So, Sergio is apparently listening to offers. It should be no secret. I'm not enjoying my time at Red Bull. If I get offers, I'm going to take them seriously. I ended up having to word that differently than it's worded here. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm going to seriously think about them. That's all just wanted to let you know. Well, should we start scouting other drivers then? If uh, Sergio is gonna consider leaving. Uh, maybe we bring on maybe bring on who could we steal away? Who would be a, a very good idea to steal who would be a good driver to steal away? Oh 
Yeah, Kevin Magnuson would be interesting. Um, signs at Ferrari. It would cost a lot of money to break the contract, by the way. Uh, what about if we look at other drivers in other series? Yeah, it's less to break the contract. But we do need to scout drivers in case, you know, Perez leaves. And I'm looking at someone that's at least a four and a half star to a f maybe a four star bre breaching on five, four and a half stars. Four stars breaching on four and a half. Gasly could be an interesting one, and it's not too expensive to break the contract. Man, Verline is. Jeez. That is a crazy contract to break. It costs more per race as well. That's another thing to take into account. Gasly would be a really solid one to bring back to Red Bull. We could bring him back. Could make for a decent second driver. I'm considering that. Let's scout him. If we're not scouting him already. How do you, uh... How do you do that? Ah, okay, that just favorites a driver. I thought that was the scout. But maybe scouting drivers is just you look at their stats from the screen. I thought scouting is just where you want to scout a driver and you click on them and then it will... Oh, there is a slot here. And you just drag them to the slot, do you not? I've never done this before, so just bear with me here. No. <laughs> click on scouting. I know I have scouting slots here, but it's not... You know, yeah, there is a way to scout them, but how do I, how do I do this? Why am I such a moron when it comes to doing this? Like, I want to take Gasly's name and put it in the scouting slot. Can I not do this? <laughs> I don't want to approach him. I don't see anything. Yeah, he's a, he'd be a solid second driver. But how many times has Red Bull said that about somebody? <laughs> uh, what does it say up there? It's just a championship standings. Yeah, I don't think I can do it. I'm not worried about it. But just know that Gasly is someone to watch in case uh, Red Bull, or in case uh, Sergio ditches Red Bull for something else. So. Verstappen blitzes the opposition. The Dutch fans are going to love that. Red Bull Racing's Max Verstappen has walked away with the top prize in the Ardennes after an incident-packed race. Dutch driver beat his nearest rivals Leclerc and Hamilton to the top step of the podium with a well-judged race. Winning Red Bull Racing boss Vince Max collected the team's trophy and looked delighted as he downed champagne. You bet your sweet cheeks I enjoyed that champagne. It was amazing. And it's also May 15th. So something about Dutch drivers... With VK winning his first IndyCar race today, and Max winning his first F1 race on this day five years ago, Max wins his first race of the season in Motorsport Manager here on May 15th. So there's just something about May 15th. So we're starting to get money back. Milan is in 17 days. That's a critical race. Deceleration is crucial. So we're the best car on the grid in, in terms of that. Top speed is crucial, and I think... We have a second best car on top speed, do we not? Wait, what? When did Alpha Top. What? We gotta start improving the engine. So, this part should come in just before the next race. They're working to improve parts, fit parts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, I can't. Yeah, I can't do anything there because we haven't accelerated a day past the event. So, if I hit continue, car repair should complete. And then we can continue work on the car. They're going to tell me car repair is complete. Yep, thank you. And job security has not changed much. Yep. So now I can go to improve parts. And there's still not a slot available to improve anything. Reliability or parts wise. So I'm just going to let them do their thing. And we'll just continue to accelerate.
There we go. Performance and reliability work is going to be done here in a minute. What are we up to? Oh, the race. The F3. F3 in Vancouver and WEC in Milan. So WEC is actually in Milan. Ten days before, we're in Milan. And I still can't get to this. What? Well, we're ten days out before the race. If I hit continue... Oh, it's just simulating F3. I see. I forgot that it did that. Okay. Cool. Thank you. I just want to accelerate. Alright, pause. So what's in the mailbox? Nanini... 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 Gosh, what a weird name to say. Uh, hey, yes. Been accepted into Academy. He's in Sauber's Academy. That doesn't affect us. Maybe it does. Why am I being told about this? <laughs> Factory staff is idle. That's what it was. They're going to be idle now that they've completed the improvements on performance and reliability. Yeah, I know. You keep reminding me that I'm going to be fired. <laughs> that, that picture and this email... It's just perfect together. <laughs> You're gonna be fired. No pressure. <laughs> it just, it's just so taunting. It's just so taunting. So, these guys are idle, and that's why I wanted to accelerate so they could not be idle. Oh, God. There's nothing to... There's nothing to improve. I don't know why there isn't a slot there, but everything is towards reliability, I guess. I can't, there's no slots available. Unless I'm just doing something wrong here. Uh, staff. Staff, staff, staff. We'll, we'll fix the pit crew before the next race, by the way. We'll take care of their, the tired pit crew and looking at who we need to swap in and swap out. Before the next one. Yeah, I don't know. I can't improve any parts. All I can do is that one reliability component. That's it. So we can't even really improve the car. Sponsors, standings, yeah, we see all that. Finances. Marketability should be like way up. We're Red Bull. We're freaking energy drink company. <laughs> Fit parts? Yeah, no, I, I don't want to fit parts. I want to improve them. Is it because we're upgrading a facility? I mean, we're upgrading this. Telemetry center. Test track. Well, that's been maxed out. Okay, that doesn't seem like it... Oh, it does affect the knowledge on gearbox performance. Simulator. And what else were we improving? Staff center. And how long do these have left to go? This has a this one has a long way to go. Telemetry center has a long way to go. The simulator has a ways to go. So these still have a, a long way to go. In five days to improve the sus design a new suspension component. So if we're designing a new component, can we not improve other components? Because we're spending resources to design a new component? I have no idea. Yeah, okay, there you go. 20, 20 weeks, 27 weeks, and 32 weeks. So that's it. Milan is in eight days. We'll simulate to that when we uh, do the next episode. I don't know when that'll be. Uh, save save it just to make sure that it's saved and we'll pick up with this perhaps tomorrow we might even pick up with this tomorrow uh but yeah finally a win a good episode a, a race where we didn't crash it took long enough to get to this point <sighs> my brain is melted <laughs> my brain is melted trying to strategize and not screw up that race so that's going to do it. 
That's gonna do it. 